I was impressed with Hornby's Class 67 in the Belmont Pullman livery when I originally covered it. With a three-car train pack that includes this model now experiencing some serious discounting, I think it's time to take a closer look at what's on offer and what sort of value it represents. Hi, thanks for joining today's review. We'll kick off with the usual unboxing, followed by a close-up view of the locomotive and coaches. We'll then look at a short running session before getting into our scoring, summary and final recommendation. So this is the, the outer box uh, for this Belmont British Pullman train pack. Basically comes with a class 67 uh, in the Belmont Pullman livery uh, with three uh, coaches, Pullman coaches, and they're with the, uh, they come with the table lights uh, in them. So we'll take a look at those. I've already done a review of the locomotive, uh, the Class 67 uh, Belmont uh, Pullman locomotive, so I'll put a link in the description. We won't spend a lot of time on that because I've already covered it. Uh, so we'll kind of focus on the overall set and uh, we'll take a look at the coaches as part of this as well. So let's open up the box. So this is the kind of, um, this is, people will be familiar with this packaging. There's a number of sets from Hornby train packs that come in this kind of eco-friendly packaging. Uh, which is a little bit primitive, but I suppose it is eco-friendly, so that's fine. Um, I think the good news is that the locomotive, they've kind of taken in the full locomotive packaging into this. Now, I still don't think this, is, this packaging is adequate for this locomotive. Um, it does miss protection, uh, added protection at the front uh, and the rear, uh, because this is a very heavy model, and I have personal experience of having damage of one of these in transit and the damage was just literally down to the fact that the packaging wasn't up to up to scratch. So I'll kind of reflect that. They've kind of taken it in here and, and put it into the, taken the standard packaging and, and put it into this box, uh, which is good. At least they've set, they, they have maintained, I suppose, a le an extra level of protection for the locomotive rather than just putting it into the cardboard box on its own without the extra protection. Uh, but it still needs a little bit more. But I, I will kind of give credit for the fact that they have taken at least this piece in. So let's take this guy out quickly and we won't spend a lot of time on the locomotive because um, it is covered in a separate review. It does come with the detailing kit which has got the, the aprons on it, alternative couplers and, uh, and some uh, added f f parts that you can fit on the buffer beams. So that's the standard that you get with any Class 67. And we'll just take this out quickly to take a quick look at it. Um, as per my other review of this locomotive, I, I do actually like it. Uh, I think it's a nice, uh, I, I do like the livery, I do like the Class 67. It's a very weighty locomotive, uh, there's no doubt about that. It's, it's up there with the, the Class 60s from Hornby, so uh, expect that. Um, uh, so it comes, it's, it's, it is a nice locomotive, it's a nice running locomotive. Uh, you've got the spring buffers on it. Got separately fitted windscreens on it. Uh, it doesn't have any opening doors or anything like that, which which I wouldn't like. Uh, there's a very nice grille effect here that you can see through. Uh, so I really do like that on the Class 67s from Hornby, and the nice grille on the roof as well, uh, metal outer grille. So overall, you know, I like these. They're they're still with an eight-pin decoder, so the lighting has the limitations of an eight-pin decoder. Um, but you know, I do like it as a locomotive. I think it's one of their better offerings. And in the context of this uh, kit as a, uh, this train pack as a value offering, I think it's, um, it, it's a very interesting proposition having this quality of locomotive in a, in, in, uh, a, a pack that's now available at, a, at quite a budget price. So, and we'll talk about that later. Um, so let's get into the cars themselves. So I am a fan of the Pullman uh, coaches. So we'll take one of these out. And they do have a kind of protective sleeve on them, which is no harm, given they're been put into the kind of cardboard box. Uh, they do come with the kind of standard kit that you get with them as well. So you, this, you would get this if you were buying these coaches on their own. So you get the alternative close couplers, which I don't particularly like. Some people do like them. I'm not a big fan of these particular ones. Um, and, and a little bit of extra detailing. So it's... Um, you know, it's, it's pretty minimal, but they are nice coaches in themselves. And we will do a close-up view of a couple of these coaches. Um, 
This is Lucille. Uh, those table lamps do illuminate, uh, so you'll see the power pickups here on each bogey. So they're on both bogies, which is good, uh, which means you get good continuity of power. And uh, uh, the, the lamps themselves aren't amazingly bright. You'll see, uh, you know, we'll probably see that during the running session. Uh, again, the kind of gangway ends here looks really nice. There's, there's windows there, um, a nice level of detail. Um, you know, these are nice coaches, the separately fitted handrails on these coaches here. You can see them there, the kind of gold effect. Um, the, obviously, nice internal detailing, the kind of curtain detail there. A very nice detail on that window there. See, that's, uh, that's one I, I particularly like, so that's something. And uh, again, you've got the detailing on the door. So, these are top-notch coaches, uh, in fairness. So this isn't a railroad-type pack. This is, these are full-blown uh, coaches. And you know you could expect us to be paying fifty pounds for each of these coaches individually, easily paying that sort of money for them uh, new. Uh, so getting them in a kit like this, um, uh, you know, along with the locomotive at a relatively bargain price as they are now uh, for some of the the retailers, is is really good. There's a nice nice roof there. Again, uh, nice texture and detail on the roof. I'll say we'll look at that. We'll do a three sixty view of the three coaches as well. So we get a good look at all of these. So I think you know, these are top-notch coaches and they, they, they feel good. There's good weight in that coach as well. We, we, we'll do a weigh in on it uh, as well to get that. So you're getting three of these coaches with a nice locomotive and uh, as I say, you know, the theme of this particular review is really looking at the value proposition given that you're now picking this up for anywhere between 200 and 200 pounds and 240 to 45 pounds is the kind of asking price from a number of channels now. And I think that's a really good price for what you're getting here. Okay, so now let's get into the close-up view. So we're gonna skip the locomotive for this because I did cover that in the original review. And um, we're gonna look at one of the coaches. This is Ion, and this gives you an idea of some of the fabulous detail on this coach. Just look at the porthole there on the left-hand side of that porthole window. You can see the detail on the windows and the interior. There's some excellent interior detail. You can see the seating there, the table lamps, the, the tables. Uh, the overall outer look of this coach, again, is really excellent. Some nice rendering there of the Pullman lettering and the coach name. I got the coat of arms there and another one of these portal type windows with a lot of detail in it. And the, you see the detail, the handrails around the door, the light over the door, the handle on the door, and the nameplate underneath the door, which has got text that you can actually read. So fantastic looking coaches. We're doing a quick 360 spin of the locomotive here, uh, just to give you a look at that. I mean, that is impressive as well. Perhaps doesn't have all the little fine, little bit of extra details that the coaches have. But nevertheless, it is a nice rendering of the livery. It is a nice looking locomotive. Uh, those lovely grills on the side and on the top. And see the chimney there on the top as well and and then you've got the metal sprung buffers there at the front and you've got the lighting so it is a nice a nice looking locomotive and here are all the three cars together the end of the bulkhead ends there there's a kind of observation windows that you've got and the nice bulkheads as well and again the fantastic detail around those coaches around the doors the windows the roof you know as you can see this separately fit of parts there on the roof and very nice bogies, very nice wheels, and again you've got the metal sprung buffers as well. Uh, so overall, these are really top-notch uh, coaches. Uh, you know they are, as I said, pr probably some of the highest quality coaches that you can get. And the, those table lights do illuminate as well, which which is great, a great added feature. So overall, three really nice looking coaches. Uh, now it could be challenging getting additional coaches for this. They they, they did make uh, plenty of additional coaches in this livery, but it could be challenging getting your hands on them. Now we're going to get into a very short running session. I do have a full running session that I did with the original review for the Class 67, uh, which actually had the slightly different Pullman coaches, the ones with the grey roofs, and there was a longer rake for that. Uh, now here, I've got to run with the, the train configuration that you get out of the box. Now it is running on DCC here, so the lights are probably going to show a little bit better uh, than if it was just on DC. And it's running on a, on a radius 2 section here. Uh, the coaches unfortunately don't run on radius one. They do catch some of the, the underbody detail. Do, ca do catch on the curves. Uh, we're picking up a reasonable speed here. So these coaches are really smooth running. The locomotive, you'll, you'll see it from the original re review, is a very good runner, and uh, the combination then is, is very good. So we're running over 
the kind of Hornby point work here as well as the Pico Express points and we don't see any issues with those you know they're very solid coaches There's a 161 grams is a good weight for a coach so they do uh, they do run well and combined with a good running locomotive like this it makes it a very nice combination so we're picking it up here to kind of the, the prototypical uh, top speed I guess and we just slow down now and we'll bring her to a halt so a very satisfactory kind of running experience with these and I think it certainly would be nice to maybe build out this rake with a few additional coaches that would certainly be something you could do and you could also add some brakes onto this a uh, mark one brake would would be good to go with that as well okay so let's get into the summary uh, we've been looking at the Hornby R 3750 British Belmont Pullman train pack and this comes with a class 67 diesel locomotive uh, locomotive 67024 in the umber cream livery it also comes with three uh, Pullman coaches, uh, K-Type. Uh, you get the first parlor cars, Lucille and Xena, and the kitchen first, I own. The locomotive is fitted with a five-pole skew-wound motor uh, that comes with all-wheel pickup and all-wheel drive. It's 8-pin DCC ready, and there is an optional R8105 TTS sound decoder. Extra features are the directional lighting, a headlight, the table lights in the coaches, and on the loco you've got the detailed side grills, detailing kit and with the coaches you've got a lot of fine detail and uh, detailing kits as well with alternative couplers. We've got uh, metal sprung buffers on both the locomotive and the coaches. The unboxed weight for the locomotive is 637 grams and the coaches come in at 161 grams. The top scale speed that I tested this at was 65 miles per hour but I don't see any issue with running at faster speeds albeit they wouldn't be prototypical. The retail selling price for this varies between $199.95 at the discounted level and $362.99 which is the recommended re retail price on the Hornby website. So we'll get into the scoring. I think on a running performance perspective this locomotive and these coaches come in at a 9 out of 10. Uh, they are very strong and uh, this locomotive has always been a good one and you'll see that in my original review. And the coaches are also very good runners as well. The locomotive will actually run on a radius 1 circuit, uh, but the coaches will only run on radius 2 or greater. But overall, really nice performing train pack, and it's easily a very good 9 out of 10. Appearance and detail, again, a 9 out of 10. The Class 67 locomotive wouldn't have an awful lot of additional added detail, uh, but the coaches are very, very detailed, and these would be you know, top-notch coaches. I would put, I'll put them up there as uh, some of the most detailed coaches that you can buy. And hopefully you've seen that from the close-up views. The extras and variants, pretty good because these are good quality models. So you've got detailing kits, uh, alternate couplers, got the, the spring buffers on both. Uh, you've got the lighting functions, I'll say, and very good level overall uh, in terms of detail on these models. So these are good models. Build quality and packaging, 8 out of 10. It's easily adequate. Probably a little bit of extra protection that could be given to the locomotive uh, and I guess you know the overall packaging while eco-friendly is probably a little bit primitive but it is adequate and I think an 8 out of 10 is a good uh, score overall. A little bit extra for the locomotive wouldn't have gone astray. The price value at the £220 level I'm giving it as a 10 out of 10. I really think this is a fantastic value at this price level uh, given a combination of a, of a strong nicely detailed locomotive very good performing uh, with three excellent highly detailed coaches and so I really think from a value perspective and if you've been a subscriber and viewer to this channel you know how much an emphasis I put on value and I would certainly say that at the £220 level this is a 10 out of 10 from a value perspective. Why pick mine up uh, from Curnow for £200? Do look around, uh, Hattons, Curnow and even Amazon have been doing this for you know between £225 and £245 so there's no shortage of places where you'll get this at a discounted price. So the overall score is an 8.9 out of 10, which is a, a very good score for a train pack like this. And then my overall recommendation is that, you know, this has been always, even at the original price, I would have always seen this as a, a, a very nice train pack and worthy of consideration. But now with the reductions down to the 200 to 240 level at a discount level, I think this is an extremely attractive proposition. I think for anybody interested in having a, a contemporary Pullman train, this is probably a must-buy at this stage and well worth looking at. 
Need comes highly recommended without any doubt, definitely worth consideration. And I would just say, I don't think you can spend your modeling money on much better. Uh, you won't get much better value than this uh, in 2022 at this point in time. So definitely worth a look. If it's not your rear et cetera, that's fine. And uh, uh, you're probably uh, lamenting that, that that's the fact I would, I would be. But certainly I like this train set and I'm very, very pleased to have got it for the 200 pounds, which was an absolute steal. Okay, uh, thanks for this. joining this quick review today. Uh, please give me your own experience if you have this train pack or if you have this locomotive. And also be interested if you know of any other really good bargains that are out there. Please capture those in the comments as well. It'd be good to share those with people who are looking for a bit of value these days, uh, given all the other challenges we have. Okay, thanks for joining today. Hopefully see you on the next one. And in the meantime, happy modelling. <laughs>